Many have heard it. The infamous voice of this most mysterious of artifacts is legendary among certain circles, although the true history remains shrouded by the endless mists of time. It arrived in this world, as such things often do, in the 1990s at an archaeological dig in Central America. A 500-year-old sacrificial skeleton had this and awaiting centuries to see the sun again in a temple to the Aztec god of the winds, Hecatl. Clutched in the hands were two artifacts, curiosities in a larger macabre scenario. A curiosity they would have remained had one of the archaeologists not blown into the artifacts, producing the infamous noise that flows shrilly from the things, most often described as being most comparable to a woman screaming, although it does hold within it similarities to screeching wind. The Aztec death whistle has since provided the modern world with a macabre mystery that is as much at home in the works of Edgar Allan Poe as it is in a culture that reported the used human vertebrae to tally points in a ball game. Although the ha haunting, and in some cases horrifying, tones produced by the whistle are universally agreed upon, much less so are the functions of the objects. Some have hypothesized that the whistles were used as an aid in meditation, helping people to reach a trance state. However, this hypothesis is overshadowed by two larger, more appealing hypotheses. The first is that the death whistle was used for purposes of psychological warfare. It has been reported previously that the Aztecs used drums on the march to war. Perhaps the death whistle was a form of psychological warfare used to intimidate rival warriors with Aztec warriors playing death whistles from all directions in the forest. The most likely hypothesis, however, can be traced back to the initial discovery of the death whistles and to their placement in the hands of the beheaded corpse of the sacrificial offering to the wind god Hikikato. The death whistle, at least my death whistle, which is a replica in function not form, does resemble the tonality of the blowing winds, from a brisk breeze to a gale force screams and howls. Whatever the whistle was used for, it ultimately has gained a place in the notoriety of the macabre. This is my Aztec death whistle. I received it just yesterday. It's got very high quality. I really like how it's molded. And this is how it sounds when I blow lightly into it. And this is what it sounds like when I blow into it as hard as I can. Aztec death whistle.